it's a lot of mo extra money and a lot of extra hassle paying your bills on time, you know, and it's it's a huge inconvenience. Parkville's Greg Kump describing the extra money he's paying to avoid late fees on his mortgage and other bills, all because of postal delays. He says he hasn't received mail in 10 days. According to messages and pictures from the U.S. Postal Service, mail for him and his wife will be coming to their mailbox soon. It includes notices from Social Security and state vehicle emissions, also a Christmas card. People are being charged extra money for late charges, even though they pay their bills on time. There are deliveries of medicine that are late getting to individuals, packages and parcels, whether it's first class mail or anything else. Uh, it's absolutely an affront. Representatives Kwasi Mfume, John Sarbanes and others in the Maryland congressional delegation sent a letter to Postmaster General Louis DeJoy. What's happening now is an absolute disservice to people in this country who expect to have mail delivery on time. Both congressmen are on the Oversight and Reform Committee. Its members also want answers about another troubling issue, the deaths caused by coronavirus of more than 100 postal employees and more than 16,000 in quarantine. The committee wants to know the proactive steps USPS is taking to protect workers from COVID health risks. We want to understand from the Postmaster General, what's the plan here to deal with this crisis in terms of just the impact of the pandemic. They also wonder about changes being implemented to make the post office run more like a business. So this is not the time to do that because it creates instability. The Postal Service is already operating under a lot of duress because of the pandemic. He needs to back up uh, from these changes um, and have something that's more stable to offer. Now, responding by email, a spokeswoman for the USPS tells 11 News the United States Postal Service processed and delivered a record number of holiday packages for the American people under some of the most difficult circumstances we faced in the past century. Specifically, more than 1.1 billion packages were delivered this holiday season amidst a global pandemic. And the Postal Service also apologized for any inconvenience that it may have caused its valued customers. Reporting live from Parkville, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.